And from me is a Motorola One Macro, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. Now, as you can see, starting off, the device in front of me is locked, obviously. And I have two ways of unlocking it, either via the pattern or using the account. That, assuming we don't know both of them, we're going to go back to the first page and change the language to any language that uses different keyboard. So Greek, uh, Russian, and things like that will work. So there we go, Greek for instance, that's what I'm going to use. Um, and again, you want to progress through the setup so we get to the verification page. And tap on the field and you'll have a new option on the keyboard to change the language as, oops, as you can see right over here, the globe icon. So you want to hold this, so we'll bring up the language select. And number one, we're going to change it to QWERTY, which is the second option right here. As you can see below, it's written QWERTY. Hold it again, and then go to language select by tapping on the text below that. And from here, let's tap right over here. And what you want to do is choose any uh, any language right here that has an arrow. As you can see, it has like arrows on the side. Now we just have mo multiple keyboard choices. So once you tap on one of them, you want to tap on the three dots from there and go to help and feedback which is the second option from the drop down menu and in the help and feedback search bar you want to search for morse code or use morse code uh, simply typing in a morse or just a couple letters like mor you can already see you have a, a uh, use morse code suggested su suggested there we go and once you tap on it you'll have this video so tap on play from here, tap on the three dots and go to watch later, which is this clock icon. And this will open up the web browser. So let's accept and continue, which is the blue button right here. And we don't want to log into Google, so we're gonna tap on the left side. And now you wanna tap on the search bar right here and navigate into hardreset.info. see like so let's go out there I want to tap on the three bars right there and go to the downloads category and in the search bar you want to type in apex launcher so simply typing apex is good enough to give you the app that we need as you can see from here you want to tap on the download to download the app and then scroll down and when you see the other download button instead of actually tapping on it you want to hold this and we'll pop up this window and you want to choose the second option which is open and incognito and this will prevent any kind of problem with the download that could have happened so let's tap on the text right here then every time we need to confirm something like right now and we need to grant access to storage you want to press on the right side so everything on the right side is basically a confirmation and once it's done downloading as you can see right now and you have this check mark and you can open it up and once you open it up again we need to grant access so google can install this or apps can be installed from google um, so you want to tap again on the right side check this on go back and tap on install which again right side and now once it's done installing you want to open it up which again is the right side option out of those two there we go and we are now in the apex launcher so from here we're going to start off by changing the language to english or whatever language is for you um, so again as you just seen i'm going to the app tray which is this circle in the middle and then going to the settings which is the gear icon and from here you want to scroll all the way down to the last option is information system information i guess um, and from here choose again the globe icon which is representative of the languages and then tap on uh, right at the top we have this like different uh, letters from different alphabets tap on that and you want to tap on the plus and choose your language which like i said before for me it's going to be english select region and from here once you add it as you can see we have greek and we have english i'm gonna grab english drag it over and there we go now the system is in english so from here you want to back out 
just make sure you don't back out too far so there we go you want to get only here so don't tap too fast you might skip it a little bit further and then you would have to reinstall the app to get back here um, so once we are back on the home screen right here of the apex launcher you want to go to chrome and let's tap back and now once you see the download search bar remove the apex and type in android 8 like so and search and again there should be only one thing so download scroll down hold it and open an incognito tab okay it will start downloading it only takes about a couple seconds there we go and it's now downloaded tap on open and again install and once it's done installing we want to open it up and from here we're going to start off by tapping on google account manager apk install and select for version 6.0 Again, we need to go to settings, allow from this source and go back and install. And once it's done installing, tap on done and choose now the second option, bypass FRP. And select browser sign in, tap on the three dots up on the top and again go to browser sign in. This will bring up the Google login page. Now from here, you will need to have a Google account. If you don't have one, you can always create it. Uh, it's completely free. And once you well, create it or use the one that you have, uh, you want to log in here. So I'm going to use my own. Step on next. And then put in the password. And choose login and as you can see it has logged in and went back to the app itself so from here we want to back out okay so once we are back in the browser we're gonna tap on the search bar and this time around we're gonna type in let's see uh, we're going to go to Google Come and then slash Android slash find. Oops, find. There we go. As you can see, uh, google.com slash Android slash find. Confirm this. And again, we will need to log in with the same account that we have provided just a moment ago. So again, I'm going to put in mine. Now probably it would be also better to select it and copy so we don't have to put in put in our email address later on because we will need to insert it a couple more times. So let's tap on next. And again put in your password to log in. Tap on next. Let's close this and also close this. We don't need to save it uh, and tap right here to close on the left side. As you can see, it shows us, uh, shows us our device and you want to tap on the refresh. This should show our battery percentage of the device and it means that it's now synced. So right now what you want to do, uh, once you actually see the battery percentage, you want to type in the configure, it actually should say, depending on the language of your account, configure security <coughs> and data and delete. So tap on that. It will, as you can see, just shows up our another option. And right now what you want to do is uh, choose the security. So secure, secure the device, I believe it should say, which for me, as you can see, it's in Polish. So let's select a secure device and now you want to set up a passcode so it can be just a four digit passcode 
then I use one, two, three, four. Now I, adv I advise you to use the same one, one, two, three, four. It will make the guide a little bit simpler later on. One, two, three, four. And let's press next. And it's ask asking us if we want to set that passcode. Yes, okay. And as you can see, we're now can see if you tap on it it will lock the device so now we should have a there we go a passcode so let's confirm it and we're now back in the main page right here I'll just wait for this to disappear and now we have the option on the bottom um, to erase the device I believe it should be um, so let's stop on that and if you're wondering it has the icon of an x next to a phone while the previous one that we were just doing has had the lock um, so let's stop on the x to erase the device and erase the device is the only button visible here again we need to log in so let's paste our email address uh, at least for me if you didn't copy it like i did you just simply need to write it in there and then again, put in the password for that account. And you will get this pop-up, so let's stop erase. And you can see that it automatically progresses to erasing. So all this will take about a minute or so. And once it's finished, we should be then back in the setup screen of the device. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, we're now back in the setup screen. So I'm gonna stick with English and press start. Let's skip this and we need to connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna choose my Wi-Fi. Let's connect to it. And you should see right about now the difference as you hopefully remember from the beginning, uh, the two ways of unlocking the device for me at the beginning were either a pattern or the email address. Now you will see another way of unlocking it that has substituted the pattern. So let's tap on down copy. And you can see verify pin. So it basically overridden the pattern that was previously there and substituted with the pin that we have set on the Google page. So again, let's type in one, two, three, four and completely unlock the device. And there we go, the device is now unlocked. So we can progress through the setup of this device normally. Now, I would still advise you to perform a reset of it uh, after the setup. So I'm going to skip it for the time being. Skip most of this. And from the home screen, like I said, because I advise to reset the device anyway, go to the settings, scroll down to system, then reset options. Erase all data factory, reset, reset phone, erase everything. And this will ensure that any kind of remainings of the old, uh, old account that was blocking us will be then removed. Now, this is a fairly quick process as you've seen before, so it won't take really long. But we're basically done at this point. Once the reset is finished, we can set up our device as however you like. There will be no more verification of any sort and the device will, or the, the setup of the device will look as though the device is basically brand new. And as you can see, we're now finished. Now once more, I'm gonna go through the setup process fairly quickly, um, but I'm gonna skip most of the things that I can. As you can see, Wi-Fi uh, is 
is available to well, be skipped, which that's, well, that's what I'm going to choose, which normally you would not be assuming, assuming the device is still locked. And like I said before, uh, the device is fully unlocked now, so you can set it up as however you like. You can add all the Google accounts, set the uh, screen locks and all that stuff, and everything will work just as it should. Uh, the only reason why I'm skipping through most of this is just for the time. And there we go. As you've seen, there was no need to verify anything. And we're now on the home screen with the device fully unlocked. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.